magical beings and welcome back to my channel. I am Justina, creator of Bohemian Magic Studios. I just wanted to wish you guys a very happy St. Patrick's Day and I just wanted to do a little time-lapse video of a drawing that I wanted to do. I apologize if the lighting is not very good. I just got this ring light for Christmas and I'm just trying it out now. So I apologize if it's too bright. I don't know, what do you think of the lighting? Do you think it looks okay? If so, like, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If it sucks, I'll never use it again, I promise. So I just wanted to do a little St. Patrick's Day doodle and make a fun little coloring sheet to give to you guys as a gift this St. Patrick's Day so you guys can get your color on, paste them in your bullet journals, your sketchbooks, your notebooks, anywhere you want. I just wanted to do something fun to give to you as a free little gift. So before we start, I just wanted to tell you guys that I am not the most confident pencil artist. I did go to art school, but I consider myself a painter. I like splashing paint on a canvas and I like doing the whole like ink zen tangle thing where it doesn't have nothing has to be perfect and or precise I'm not a very precise artist so I'm sorry if, if my things look a little juvenile or whimsical that's just my style don't expect any sort of MC Escher art coming out of my pencil because that's just not gonna happen okay <laughs> so I just wanted to get that out of the way before we start our little drawing here so I just wanted to let you guys know that this coloring page will be available for free I will link it down below without further ado let's draw some leprechauns all right you guys so here goes nothing I always feel like the blank page is like the most intimidating thing ever I actually started with a pot of gold kind of picture and then I erased it and decided to go with a portrait instead so I am going to be sketching a leprechaun and here's his hat no oh, never mind okay I'm going to make it look more like the Mad Hatter Johnny Depp kind of deal okay so if you guys are really digging my music, this is actually from one of my favorite computer games called Night of the Rabbit by Daedalic Entertainment. And I love playing this game, I'm kind of obsessed with it. And I will also link that in the description down below. I think the soundtrack is the most gorgeous thing ever and I love listening to it when I draw and do other creative things and it always takes me to a magical realm and helps me escape reality for a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to draw some eyeballs here, and uh, I'm not the best at drawing eyes, and you'll see because I erased them about a dozen times. Actually, it, it has taken me a really long time to get comfortable doing portraits, and I guess the more that I do them, the more I get comfortable in it, I, I enjoy drawing them more than I used to. I, I used to avoid them at all costs, <laughs> but um, now I, I kind of enjoy practicing them. Um, yeah, and, but it, it usually takes me a couple tries to get my characters looking exactly how I want them. So I'm constantly erasing, constantly molding and shifting things around, as you can see. <laughs> I uh, just erased them for like a third time there. And I think I even erased them one more time, but yeah, it always takes me a while to get things looking exactly how I want them to look. So I have always had a love and fascination for St. Patrick's Day. I'm not Irish, I'm Italian, but I always just like, we always grew up in my house and my mom always made the corned beef and the cabbage and the potatoes every St. Patrick's Day. So I always grew up appreciating the culture even though I'm, <laughs> I have no Irish. I, well, I think I have some Irish heritage and lineage on my mom's side. Um, her mother, her mother's side uh, wasn't Italian. They were actually, I think like Welsh and Polish or something. My mom actually got her test results back from Ancestry.com and I think she was like a good percentage of Irish as well. That side of her heritage unfortunately was never celebrated because um, I guess our family was so predominantly Italian and Sicilian. Her father was Sicilian as well. So um, I guess that, that whole side just kind of got lost unfortunately. So here you, you could see that um, things have progressed significantly since the last clip. I actually stopped the camera a little bit because I was getting frustrated, things weren't going how I wanted them to go, so I kind of got my, my bearings a little bit and fixed some things and finished his face off before I put the camera back on. And as you can see, the hands are a little lacking here. Um, yeah, I'm not the best at drawing hands, they're actually the most difficult thing to draw aside from feet. Yeah, and this is something that I've always had trouble with. I'm not the best portrait gesture artist. I took many life drawing classes in art school and I mean I did okay in them but I wasn't like, you know, some people are, were just amazing. 
but it's important to not feel intimidated and try to do them anyway. Like, I know my, my angles are all messed up here. I guess, I don't know, some, sometimes it just doesn't translate. The way I see it in my head just does not come out how I want it to on paper. Perspective has always been kind of a tricky concept for me. I usually end up drawing things about a million times before something finally clicks in my brain and it's like, oh, okay, I'm supposed to draw it this way. But yeah, this hand was kind of wonky until the inking stages of this page. And I actually did not film the inking stages because that just takes forever and this would have been a very long video. But um, I actually did a kind of a zen tangle kind of theme. I feel like all the little doodle lines in the ink kind of gives my work that signature style. I've been doing this since about 2007 or 8 or so. I just kind of started doing it one day and I fell in love with it and I kind of feel like my work is incomplete without doing all of that line work. So anyway, if you're wondering where I got the pretty little green carnation to the right of my picture, my husband actually brought that home for me when he was going food shopping the other night. I guess they were selling them at the market for St. Patrick's Day. He was going to pick up some corned beef and cabbage because on Sunday we are going to my grandmother's and our family is going to have a corned beef and cabbage cook-off. We've never done that before but um, I don't know, it's just something new that we're trying I guess and everybody's bringing their own corned beef. So it should be fun to see how differently everybody ends up interpreting such a traditional dish. So now here I am trying to finish up the main portion of the drawing, doing the lettering, and I honestly am not the best letter person, but uh, one of my friends in high school actually taught me basic calligraphy, and um, I kind of try to do that with the lettering that I do now, but I'm still not the greatest letter person. <laughs> Also, I was kind of bummed that I didn't leave any space for a pot of gold, so you'll see in the actual inked version after this time lapse is over that I actually squeezed one in between happy and saint. So the pot of gold did make the cut and I also did some rainbow lines and a lot of swirlies in the Zentangle style. So I think this should be really fun for you guys to color in. So here is my final coloring page with all of the inking done and you can see the Zentangle kind of style. I have fit my pot of gold in at the top and I also fixed that wonky hand at the bottom. So there you have it. That's my St. Patrick's Day coloring page from me to you guys and you can download that for free at the link in the description box down below. So I hope you guys have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Be sure to eat a lot of corned beef and cabbage. I hope you find many leprechauns and four leaf clovers. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment, rate, and subscribe, and let me know if you think I should do more of these drawing videos. This is the first one I've done and I really enjoyed doing it, so any feedback you have on the matter would be greatly appreciated. So stay magical you guys, and I hope to see you back here real soon. Bye.